search literature with Google. Scholars are used to surveying the literature with well-known databases like Scoopers, Lens.org, Web of Science, Ibscost, etc. Access to those databases requires a subscription to be paid by your university and access login must be given by them. However, Google Scholar can be used for free and anyone can access it. Today I am going to tell you how the Google Scholar can be used for free article downloads with your reference manager. So let's do it like this. Go to Google Scholar, then register with Google Scholar and sign in, then open Google Scholar account, Google Scholar page, then you have menu in this Google Scholar, then uh, click the menu and once you click the menu you have advanced search option. So click that, then when you click that you have this kind of a window. So in that window this there are spaces in the space uh, in the space you can type the search criteria which means that the search uh, terms that you want to search uh, then type then uh, your range you can type the articles published during what you for example for you want uh, the articles published from 2000 to 2010 uh, then type that your range so let's look at how to do it just go to Google Scholar, then Google Scholar account, right. I am already signed in with my account, then you can simply search the terms that you want, you can type here job satisfaction suppose for example we can use job satisfaction and em employee performance articles relating to this then go to this these are the 29,300 results generated relating to the job satisfaction and employee performance now you what you need to do is then you need to sort it out or screen out then you have advanced search option in that advanced search option you can type the same search terms here like this I am typing I am using this space with the exact phrase section I am typing uh, like this job satisfaction and employee perf uh, performance then uh, the year range the articles published from 2002 I am taking 2000 to 20 2020 then search now 16600 articles generated now you need to export these results into your reference manager right so you can look at these articles one by one if you want otherwise you can export all these into your reference manager if it is related if it is not related you can delete that article I will tell you how to do that uh, for example you want to select you want suppose that for example uh, you want to export all these results into your reference manager right so uh, the reference manager I am using is the Sotero uh, this is a free open source reference manager software it is available freely on the go on Google then you can download freely uh, there is a separate video for that I can I have provided with this video all this information how to download that uh, it is available in my channel you can find and uh, learn how to download and how to use Sotero software uh, with that video so uh, I'm opening this uh, video uh, I'm opening this Sotero software and Sotero software has three basic sections uh, this is the folder section this is the collection section and the uh, separate article section right so when you click this item then item information is available in this section so therefore it is open already open minimize it then you need to export this and you have this kind of a you can see this uh, folder this is called 
uh, Sotero connector. It is available when you are downloading Sotero software into your computer. It is available with that interface uh, Sotero connector for Chrome and uh, please upload that uh, into your Chrome browser then it is automatically uh, appear when you download that connector into your Chrome browser. So therefore through this you can export all these information uh, all these generated results to the expo uh, to the Sotero software right click this one then once you click it you have these items in this and before that I will tell you one thing by default Sotero by default the Google software generates only uh, 10 items in a page you can increase you can maximize up to 20 items per page so that can be done like this go to settings menu menu go to settings and here this is the two options available 10 results per page and 20 results per page for your convenience you can watch you can see all these uh, 20 results at once uh, in in one page so therefore click this one and save it so in that case you can have 20 items per page right so if you want to see the next page next items uh, then you can go by clicking to page there are separate pages then two three and likewise you can uh, see all these other items right so i am going to tell you how to export these 20 results into the reference manager if you want to uh, export the next 20 results go to the second page and click that one and export right so i'm going to tell you the first results first page results into the reference manager go to this one click this one then you have this type of window then select all right so select all then if you want uh, if you think that this is not needed please check uncheck this one then it is not uploaded it is not exported into this collection right so i am going to export all these items into the sotero folder then click ok right once you click ok so there is a separate we have to uh, open a separate folder to save all these items into this folder so call for example let's say uh, perform employee job satisfaction satisfaction and performance then ok then once you click ok you have this kind of window once you click there is a collection pane and item pane there is no articles already uh, saved in this particular folder so therefore just minimize it then click this one and select all then click check check ok then click done right so once you click the done option then you have this type of generated items have been saved into this particular folder right so if you click this one you have all this information when you click this one all these article journal this is a journal article title authors abstract is there now abstract has not been automatically detected in that case you have to go to directly this article particular article and you can go to this article directly with this uh, particular software so just click this one if you want to uh, see this abstract then just click one, this one then click this item and uh, through this or this one you can uh, see the article right so once you click then article generates then automatically this is the article original article and if you want you can copy it and paste it so manually you can do it otherwise in some cases automatically detected right there are some abstracts automatically detected but 
these i think these all these 20 items have not detected any abstract so in that case one by one you have to go to the article and uh, as i did uh, copy it and paste it therefore by using this you can refer all these articles through this interface now this is the sotero interface now you need now you can export this collection into a separate excel sheet for further analysis for example if you want uh, bibliometric analysis if you want further analysis with these information uh, through softwares especially there are separate softwares for that uh, for further analysis you can export all these information into a separate excel file csv file and how that can be done is i will show you uh, click this one click, click this folder and right click export collection and once i will repeat it click right click then export collection click this one once you click it and you have this kind of window and you have separate file formats so therefore i select this one csv file then ok once you click ok then destination folder is downloads so therefore in the downloads you can save it i can uh, rename it as uh, job satisfaction and employee performance then uh, save it so already exist because i have saved several times then click ok then once it is clicked then you can you can see this this is the folder and this is not the folder this is the folder right so you have these information all these information bibliometric information is available in this particular for, uh, file so therefore dois are there but in these articles doi has not been detected anyway in some cases if the article have dois then automatically it detects right so in the absence of these articles you have to directly because this is not a uh, handy tool for uh, bibliometric analysis google does not do, google have its uh, own limitations uh, since it is a search engine this is not a database it is not a database so it is a uh, search engine so therefore it has some limitations but uh, for uh, conceptual framework justifications and thesis writing you can use this information uh, into your thesis especially right so when you have uh, when you are going to uh, justify your hypothesis or justify uh, your conceptual framework uh, through prior research so basically you can use this interface you, you can use these functionalities right so for example uh, so for example you can use this csv file for writing your thesis and conceptual framework justifications hypothesis development and bibliometric analysis right so for example if you are going to uh, justify your conceptual framework suppose that job satisfaction influence job performance you want to write you want to tell you want to write especially uh, let's say there is a positive impact of you you, you are writing like this in your thesis there is a positive impact of job satisfaction on employee performance you need to justify it right so you need to justify it suppose this uh, through uh, some uh, prior research work in that case you directly go to the sotero and suppose this is uh, uh, you directly this is the art relevant article you are referring and this abstract says uh, job satisfaction influence job performance right so in that case suppose this article clearly says there are evidence to prove that uh, job satisfaction uh, has a positive impact on employee job performance right so in that case this is a relevant justification 
So, therefore, you need to directly cite this article and justify uh, these in, uh, justify the impact through this information. So, in that case you uh, not this one and directly go to your thesis and you write this one and in the uh, Sotero there is a uh, add-in uh, called Sotero connector to the word, uh, Microsoft Word and when you are downloading that can be uploaded. Right. So, Sotero connector can be uh, connected to the word format, word document. Right. So, I have already done it and you have uh, this type of uh, icon there in your uh, Sotero in, in your word document when you upload that connector into your into your word plugin. Right. So, there, are, there is in fact a plugin. So, therefore, uh, once you click it then you have these type of uh, options are there. Then when you click it, right, so you have this type of uh, interface is there. Then you type it, your name, author's name. Go to this uh, folder, there, go to this uh, Sotero software and author is there, UN et al. So you type, copy it, control C and paste it here, right. So once you paste here, then uh, determinants here determinants of job satisfaction and performance of seafarers right so this is the original article right so then click it and once you click it then uh, in your keyboard press enter right so once you enter you minimize it and directly go to this article this your th particular thesis then it is available in this right so which means that uh, there are sufficient, there is an evidence uh, this particular author has justified this particular impact, right. So, this in this is which means that this particular impact has been cited and this cited information must be referenced in your reference section at the end, right. So, suppose that this is the reference section, now this information uh, need to be referenced, right. So, in that case you directly click this one. Once you click this one, then automatically all these uh, with this particular uh, citation are automatically uh, included in the reference list. So, this is how basically uh, Google Scholar is used to download the articles or download the reference information into a reference manager uh, and through reference manager you can cite and reference all these information.